choke, no joke, cheeky choke, no joke. The content came. Choke, no joke, cheeky choke, no joke. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got this nigga this time. I got this nigga this time. I got this nigga this time, boy. Woo! I know I got him for a fact. I just called D Haven just, just to make sure he going to pop up any second. So but let me explain to y'all what a 137 is first. Because some of y'all may not get it. And did I erase it? It's okay, I got it on my Instagram. All right, for those who don't know what a 137 is, let me explain it to you, all right? Well, I'm gonna have a federal offer a federal officer explain it to you. Y'all just listen. First, we call them a 270. They had the kind of source, we call them a 270 source. And that basically meant it was somebody that was trying to work off a beat like they had been you know, arrested for drugs, or let's say they were in prison, which, which and Kevin Hackey was. They Make want, sure you oh, oh, people know. Slow down. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Slow down. No, okay. slow down. I didn't say that. I'm saying a 270 source is somebody that's willing to testify. They they're they're willing to get a break on whatever the situation they're caught up in, and to try to get a break. They're willing to testify. They have to testify, or we would not open them up as a 270 source. Okay. okay. Period. The other type of source is what we call the 137 source. And that's somebody that's not willing to testify, and we will never divulge their information, and we will never state whether they were an FBI source or not. And the reason for that is for a couple reasons. One, it's not only to protect the source, but two, it's to show sources out there that when the FBI gives their word, when they want somebody to cooperate, if that person is willing to cooperate, but they don't want anybody to know that they're cooperating, they don't want anybody to know the kind of information they're providing or what the reasons are that they are providing the information and cooperating, that we will never divulge their name. That includes even in front of a judge, okay? Now, that's, that's a pretty strong relationship that the FBI would have with what we call the 137 source back then, Okay. You, you understand that? You understand the distinctions between the two, right? Okay, yeah, got you. Do y'all understand that? Do y'all understand that? Like, let's just say, and just for just the sake of speaking, let's just use T.I. for a minute, right? It's like, Everybody say, oh, T.I. is a snitch, this, that, and that. But how you get caught with all those guns and you ain't go to jail? You only got a year. With all those guns, you go to jail. But there's no paperwork to prove that he, he told, right? I'm not saying he is, 
But T.I. will be the perfect example if he was a 137 source. If he told and he was a 137 source, that would explain why there's no paperwork on him telling on nobody. You don't know why he told on anybody. This, that, and the third. So that's what the difference between somebody that does a proffer agreement and somebody that does a 137 agreement. They, you will never know. You will never know that these people are working, right? So listen again and stuff. I got Dehaven in the house. I'm going to bring him in one second. Listen again, all right? They had the kind of source, we call them a 270 source. And that basically meant there was somebody that was trying to work off a beat, like they had been you know, arrested for drugs or let's say they were in prison. Which, which and Kevin Hackey was. Make want, sure you oh, 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 people oh, oh, know. Slow down. Okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down, okay. slow down. No, okay. slow down. I didn't say that. I'm saying a 270 source is somebody that's willing to testify. They, they're they they're willing to get a break on whatever the situation they're caught up in. And to try to get a break, they're willing to testify. They have to testify or we would not open them up as a 270 source. Okay. okay? Period. The other type of source is what we call the 137 source. And that's somebody that's not willing to testify and we will never divulge their information and we will never state whether they were an FBI source or not. And the reason for that is for a couple of reasons. One, it's not only to protect the source, but two, it's to show sources out there that when the FBI gives their word, when they want somebody to cooperate, if that person is willing to cooperate, but they don't want anybody to know that they're cooperating, they don't want anybody to know the kind of information they're providing or what the reasons are that they are providing the information and cooperating, that we will never divulge their name. That includes even in front of a judge, okay? Now, that's, that's a pretty strong relationship that the FBI would have with what we call the 137 source back then, okay? You, you understand that? You understand the distinction between the two, right? Okay, yeah, got you. They yeah, have the kind of source, we call them a 27. They yeah, have the kind of source. All right, so y'all understand the 270 is 69. 69 would be a 270 source. A motherfucker that got on the stand, snitched on his people, boom, 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 and they're going to protect him, right? Then there's the 137 source that you not going, you could be standing right next to this nigga, and you never know this nigga be telling on niggas and sending niggas to jail, right? So, let me give y'all some new information, right? That's been out there, but probably flew over heads. Let me bring the Haven in. Yo, yo. Yo. What's the word, what up, man? Choke? <laughs> What's up, Choke? Hey, man. Yeah, I, got, I need, I need your, your, uh, your input on this, this information that I found because... To be honest, Joe, you, you just gave me some... That that one thirty seven shit, son. I have never ever heard of no shit like that till you really put me on to that shit. Like, that's a double agent. Mm -hmm. That's a Whitey Bulger type of shit. That's a, I don't know. That's an untouchable. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If they got them walking around, then, then, then I don't know. There's no game that could exist. Well, they, they are walking that's, around. That's a whistleblower. Like, you protect it. That's a whistleblower. The same shit, but, you know, that's unbelievable. And then just to, for people to find out that knowledge, I'm, I'm, I could see a bunch of motherfuckers going to look for jobs, like, <laughs> going, <laughs> going to ask for where that application at. Right. <laughs> right yo, can I get the 137? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, no, I, tell, I don't need so niggas crazy. to know I'm telling. Yo, that's crazy. That sounds absurd right there, man. That's, But that go to show you that that's if they want you, that's how far you know, they're willing to, to, to go. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just it. That's that's how far they're willing to go. <laughs> they'll let somebody, don't care, Epstein or whatever, they'll let him walk around if they want you that bad. Look, look man. This is crazy. So, so now check it, right? I'm sitting there, I'm watching uh, an interview, right, about 
about Jay, right? And this nigga say the craziest shit that makes me feel like he may be a 137, right? Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions, right? Jay-Z, now, he says that Emery was his best friend. We know he met Emery through you, correct? Correct. Did Jay-Z cool. know Emery in 1988? No. No. Are you 100% sure about that? I'm positive about that. Now, that's Trenton. I, I can't forget where I was at in 88. I was in Trenton. I hadn't even got to Maryland yet, 88. Okay. All right. So, in this information I'm about to reveal, right? Jay Z says that he was selling drugs with Emory. He said him and Emory was together every day, every day, right? Mm -hmm. Then the nigga says he goes to London with Jazz O and Emory gets knocked. That mm -hmm. timeline don't add, add up, bro. Nah, that's way off. But that's, you know. I mean, yeah, that's way off, but that's the story. That's the new narrative. Wait, you know what? Let me play it for you. Yeah. So, and everybody can see him say it for himself. He says he, him and Emery was together every day. <laughs> he was selling drugs with this nigga. And which is crazy to me because you said Jay's not in none of the paperwork. He's not knowing no wiretaps. So how was you with this nigga every day? Selling drugs with him every day. And then you go take a trip to London and he get knocked and that's what saved you? No, nigga, no, you lying. Watch, watch. This nigga's lying, Who's bro. Who's he talking to? Who he lying to? Who he talking to? You gonna see right now. At Harvard, well. Getting turned on down by Harvard, then I got to study under Ben Graham at Columbia, which changed my life. I, all kinds of things have worked out. So I just hope I stay lucky. <laughs> I've been lucky for 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> now you, uh, where, where you grew up, you could have easily have uh, yeah. ended up, as you've discussed with your friends who uh, did something, and by golly, they, they were put away and didn't get yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, there are very few people that, from my neighborhood, you know, in my environment that make it out uh i mean forget about being to be successful but make it out alive you know or, or or to be um incarcerated you know for the, I'm, i have a great friend you know who just came home who's one of the most beautiful people you ever meet you know he's you know he just came home from doing 13 years and we were we were together every single day now you paying attention right hey yo chill it's almost like a reward ceremony and shit. He like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I, my friend I was with every day, I'm expecting him to go, my man behaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a war ceremony. I'm waiting for him to say my name. Then we can get to, yo, he did 13 years. And I'm like, hey, shit, wait a minute. Where you going with this? Yeah, I, I hear that now. Bro. Hold on, I ain't done. I ain't done. Hold on. Hold on. So he not talking about you then, right? You ain't nah. doing 13 years, right? Nah. Yeah, he told my Emory, right? Exactly. Okay, now let me take it back a little bit. Oh, listen. <laughs> it is Warren Buffett he's sitting here with. That's that white guy's Warren Buffett right here. Well, getting turned on down by Harvard, then I got to study under Ben Graham at Columbia, which changed my life. I, all kinds of things have worked out. So I just hope I stay lucky. <laughs> I've been lucky for 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> now you, uh, where, where you grew up, you could have easily have uh, yeah. ended up, as you've discussed with your friends who uh, did something, and by golly, they, they were put away and didn't get yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, there are very few people that, from my neighborhood, you know, in my environment, that make it out, uh, I mean, forget about being to be successful, but make it out alive, you know, or, or, or to be um, incarcerated, you know, for the, I have a great friend, you know, who, just came home was one of the most beautiful people you ever meet you know he's you know he just came home from doing 13 years and we were we were together every single day
you know, and had it not been for music and um, music taking me out, you know, at the right time, you know, my life could very easily have been his, very easily. We were together every single day. I'm sure you spread out of London. Yeah. So um, they, they did, you know, we were into different things. We were into a lot of uh, street things. And, um, you know, just so happened I had a talent to make music. And um, a guy by the name of Jazz, um, who I started out with really early, you know, he got a, the opportunity, he got to deal with EMI. He had the opportunity to go to London to record um, his album. And, uh, you know, I went along with him and we waited for two months. Well, in that two months, there was a sting operation. And he took, you know, my friend I'm talking about, he took him away for 13 years. And the only reason I was in there, because I was away, you know, uh, doing this music stuff. Diego, talk to me, bro. Talk to me, bro. You telling me that that shit with Jazz O was 88, bro? All day. All day, 88, 88, going in 89, yeah, all day. So you tell me, Emery got locked up in 88, 89, yeah. and Jay went to London, and that's why he yeah. he, he beat that indictment? No, 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 no. Maybe them, they smoking some different shit, but that ain't it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That ain't it. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, are, they making up, they creating their own story, their own shit, man. That's wow. <laughs> well, maybe it's just to impress. He caught off guard to impress some some bill, other billionaire niggas. I don't know. But, some niggas um, don't know nothing about the streets. And nothing nothing. About the street. <laughs> exactly. So that's why he can make up his own story. <laughs> no, yeah, bro. That's, the that, niggas that's said though. he escaped the indictment because yeah. he went with Jazz to motherfucking London to record the album, bro. Nah, He's lying. Yeah, that's, that's not you know, <laughs> yo, <joke. laughs> like what you he's he's lied before. He lied. That he, I mean, you know what it is. It, it, it is what it is, bro. Like, what do they care? If he hung out with Emery, like he said, they was together every, every day. day. How is Jay Z not on the indictment, bro? How you oh, wasn't even fucking oh. with them niggas no more and you got on it. Oh, when it comes to that, um, yo, you know, you can't yo, tell he's me that. that he you, was you selling drugs with Emery. Yeah. He said he's yeah, a man that's selling drugs with Emery. He's a man they was together every day. How does Emery get indicted and not Jay-Z? How does Desiree get caught with 35 bricks? cooperate and still be rocking with Jay-Z. How does OG Juan, all his niggas go to jail except for him? Yo, all the pieces to the puzzle is there, man. What you want me to say? Besides, yo, I mean, I mean, is, is it a coincidence? You want to call it a coincidence or call it what you, you know, what it is? Like, I can't see how it happened either. I can't see, you know, from everything that happened, like call it what it is. Like, and who his people's is, and who he's who he's a partnership with. It's just it is what it is, man. He he working with them. He working with them. You know what I'm saying? Either way, if you don't, if it don't make sense there, he still work with the late with, with with Perez. He's working with them, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie. What I'm hearing allegedly, her 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 family's like that. Like her pops supposed to be a known informant but he gave up 50 percent of the money for the 40 40. well i'm just it's, it's almost to a point man we you we already you you already we already opened up pandora's box and it seemed like to me all of them dudes got cases under j <laughs> really pretty much <laughs> all of them dudes got cases um if this shit was a movie son it, it'd be crazy because you know, um, Desiree would be the fucking like the, the the star of this movie right here, like the director, the fucking writer, and everything. The way this came out, if you really look at it, this is this is this is crazy. Uh, um, she's powerful. They powerful people. They got themselves in 
a, a, a power position with the government and what the fuck you know what i'm saying it ain't hard to tell and those who don't want to say it act like they don't know and all that other shit you know what i'm saying those, that's those, those little dudes that turn their head and, and then go and make a gangster album and shit that shit don't make it don't even add up no more <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like all my, you know, like, I, I don't know, man. It's entertainment, so I can't blame them. But it's sucker shit. It's a whole bunch of other sucker stuff behind it and shit. You know what I mean? Like, these dudes can't be themselves and shit. I heard you speak about that the other day. Like, these niggas, you got industry friends, but they can't be your friends. That shit sound, it's just like, nah, nigga, these niggas ain't men out here. Amen. That you see, like, what you call it? They like, uh, Emery, he'll go do interviews and he'll refer to you as an old friend or something like that. And they say Jay Z's his brother. Like, nigga, you ain't know Jay Z before D Haven. And why he can't say your name? Because Jay will be mad. It ain't nothing wrong with saying, yo, we had, you know, D Haven introduced us, this, that, another. We know we feel it, out is, it is a lot wrong with it. It is a lot wrong with it. It is a lot wrong with it when you look at the bigger picture. It's a it's a hell of a lot wrong with it because they know that that gives me a good look. They know that I'm a like I'm a eat off that shit. I'm a prof I'm a profit off of that. If they say shit like that, and for them not to want to don't want to see me eat that shit just makes it even. That give me more ambition, but that shit makes the the story even get cr more creepier. Like damn, y'all niggas don't want to see me, right? right? I don't get that. And then you talk some La Familia, y'all talk about Black Ellison, Stop the Hate, all this non-violent shit, but you really sh exposed to me that you don't want to see a nigga eat. All of y'all. It's only a conspiracy against me, which I'm cool with it because I'm still going to do me. You know what I'm saying? By y'all silencing my name just makes me bigger. Yeah, but it ain't just you. You, you see what... Uh, uh, uh... I just said about Steve Stout and them how they was having meetings to get Dame out the fucking way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. man, all that shit is, man, all that shit is crappy, yo. Not, not, nothing was honorable about none of that shit. Everybody did something to somebody, somebody did something to nobody, nobody wanted to admit to what it is and get past it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 they all, everything was a plot. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, the big picture is behind it. Look where they at and, and, and look where we at. Look where that, that empire took it with the partnership they went on with. You know, they, they couldn't take everybody over there. Hell no. Now you it makes sense why they had the government no, seals with the hats. Yeah, they can't take everybody over there, but these niggas want to go. Yeah, <laughs> that's the they definitely want to go. They definitely want to go though. Like right now, if Jay Z wanted to do a, a a Rockefeller tour, he done shit it on everybody. But I guarantee you, you these niggas will stroll the, the fuck they'll up. Be at they'll be at the airport, yeah, loaded up with their bags and shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And yo, bro, I can't tell you pressure bus pipes, and you don't know what somebody's situation is. So them being there, you know what I'm saying? It's all, it could be all about them feeding their children and getting the opportunity. So I don't look at it. I can't be in the next man's shoes. Yeah, It's almost like everybody that asks me, yo, I want to see y'all really come together. Um, yo, in the reality of it, son, we can't. I can't respect none of that. I, I, I can't respect. Would I like to sit down and have a conversation? Yeah, but us, us building from there, having something, how? How, man? And I don't hate them, but I just don't see it. I can see us having a conversation and, you know, and me clear my head and he clear his head about things that happen or whatever, but right. us really having a relationship, how? And it ain't about me having, I can't respect it. Yeah. And I'm damn sure not gonna respect the niggas on the side. The, the, the other niggas that I put on that's there, I'm not gonna respect them for not even for not standing up for me, so I ain't, it's not gonna work. Yeah, because you know, so if he he squash shit and be cool with you, then now they want to come. Right, I'm not gonna. It's not gonna work that way because I'm not. Yeah, 
You know what I'm saying? So I wish them the best though, but the, I'm saying the hate, don't don't act me, don't don't act like y'all ain't hating. Right. <laughs> don't do that. We you know, know y'all hating. We like, know y'all hating. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like blocking, y'all doing everything y'all fucking can. It's shit. But, That's why it, I don't stop. Because kissing this nigga ass don't make sense. Don't man, and these niggas on the outside, man. These cheerleader niggas, they they don't know. They ain't never been niggas. They ain't never really been in deep to understand it. And I appreciate them niggas that really stand on the outside that know what it is. That's why a lot of people don't. Man, this shit is old game is fucked up, bro. <laughs> it is. Yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's messed up, man. It, it is, man. Um, I'm just continue to tell my story, bro, and. And that's it. It's just my story. And like you, you see how he just, he just said this. This is their narrative, right? And this is how they want to perceive this story. To then he's been with Emery every day, every day. <laughs> but you can, you know what I'm saying. But the music don't. Say but you that. not in the indictment. Yeah, and you're not in it, bro. It's um. You ain't in the wiretaps, nothing, bro. It's, it's people on indictment that don't even know they on a, that they don't even know they on an indictment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I explained to someone about the snitching and, and you know, the person be like, you know, they caught me, I took my time, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, but the thing is that they caught you, right? And they caught you doing reckless shit, you know what I'm saying? When you did reckless shit, you talked to 15 other people on that phone. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't pick up all 15, they just picked up eight. Right. And, and they're gonna and they're gonna keep an open case of the eye on the rest of them, but the fact of the matter, you ain't you, you ain't like you did some stand up shit. No, you fucked up, and the mob will wipe you out for that. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So all this, oh, I still I stood tall shit. Nah, you took a lot of people down on that reckless phone calls. That phone that you one phone brought fifteen niggas down or some shit like you know. Right. Come on, bro. So that's 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 a form of indirectly snitching, right? Because you made the block, you made that block hot, that block hot, that block hot. That's a, they got to get rid of you. So just because they ain't picked some people up and some people got deals and this and that, but like you said, man, it ain't. And and, and I, I would say I, I can't explain why he ain't. You know, um, his name has not come up. Um, you know, uh, being that I was at the head of that case. See, people get that fucked up, bro. That they where my name was on that case. You know what I'm saying? I was the 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 main character in that movie over there. You know what I'm saying? And they try to make it be like, yeah, Emery, uh, Emery did this and hold his own and shit. And I'm like, well, I really kept all of y'all out of jail, bro. You know what I'm saying? Emery got blessed for doing whatever much time, but you know, at the end of the day, nigga, the nigga that kept it a hundred, that kept everybody solid. What the, what what do they get? So I had to do time to get compensated. That's what you're telling me. I was only going to get compensated if I had to go in and do a lot, do life. Right. Oh, and then, and then these niggas tell me, oh man, you son, you still talking about it, bro. <laughs> you understand <laughs> what I'm saying to you? That niggas try to leave me in there for the rest of my life. And I don't hate him, bro. God, you know, God bless me with forgiveness, but for my life, but I'm never gonna forget that. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm never gonna forget that. And then the people played along the backside to watch it. Same people I helped get in position, man. So, you know, I feel dang pain too, but they had to feel mine first. Everybody saw mine first. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, so I'm just glad that some people can get past it, man. Because some people, it's like, man, and it, 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 when I talk about this shit, man, it, it, y'all don't even know. It's, it's so many other people involved as life is gone. That that sacrifice some shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? That they ain't look out for, you know what I'm saying? Their lives is fucked up, you know what I'm saying? They never gonna get back. You know what I'm saying? So, man, a nigga could tell me all day, I don't give a fuck, a billionaire, whatever, bro. You can't tell me that them niggas could live and sleep comfortable with what some of the shit I know they've done. I don't care what you say. 
I'll be out here at least trying to correct them. I can't sleep with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Unless it's a clause, well, I must be a clause. And if I'm a clause, right? What my what my mom have to do with it? If I'm a clause, then what what your guard daughter got to do about it? You know what I'm saying? This should be deep, bro. This yeah. is, it be deep. It is deep. You know what I mean? Well, that's I know. So what I don't mean to turn this into nothing else, but yeah, yeah. Joe. It nah, is what it is. It's one of those situations where nah, nigga, they ask about you. You cool with them either way, son. It, you play right into that position. It's nothing to really. What we talking about here? <laughs> he plays into the position. He, he wasn't in no work. He wasn't on this. They didn't ask about this. And my part and his partner is her. I mean, what, what, how you want you to? How you want to paint that shit? Right. And the truth and the worst thing about it, these niggas, you know, them niggas still want to get down with the get down. <laughs> and niggas still go around this nigga running their mouth. Now like, that I can't, you know, they wild. Like these niggas think he is still a street nigga. They bring their street niggas around these niggas, and then next thing you know, they people getting locked up and they don't know why. Mm, man, um, they do. Oh, I want, I want, I want to play this again one more time for the people that just came in to see if it makes sense one more time. I know it don't make no sense, no. but let's see. <laughs> now you, uh, where where you grew up. You could have easily have uh, yeah. ended up, as you've discussed with your friends who uh, did something, and by golly, they, they were put away and didn't get yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, there are very few people that, from my neighborhood, you know, in my environment, that make it out, uh, I mean, forget about being to be successful, but make it out alive, you know, or, or, or to be um, incarcerated, you know, for the, I have a great friend, you know, who just came home he was one of the most beautiful people you ever meet you know he's you know he just came home from doing 13 years and we were we were together every single day you know and had it not been for music and um music taking me out you know at the right time you know my life could very easily have been his very easily we were together every single day I mentioned you know, the story about london yeah so um they, they did, you know, we were into different things. We were into a lot of uh, street things. And, um, you know, just so happened, I had a talent to make music. And um, a guy by the name of Jazz, um, who I started out with really early, you know, he got a, the opportunity, he got to deal with EMI. He had the opportunity to go to London to record um, his album. And, uh, you know, I went along with him and we waited for two months. Well, in that two months, there was a sting operation and he took, you know, my friend I'm talking about, he took him away for 13 years. And the only reason I was in there, because I was away, you know, uh, doing this music stuff. Amazing. Uh, business models. Amazing is right. Amazing ass lie, nigga. <laughs> yo, yo, honestly, it don't even sound, you know, he don't sound believable. Like, first of all, you Brooklyn using, um, a, beautiful with another man and none of that shit sound authentic you get what i'm saying like yeah, what nigga what call another person, nigga beautiful what dude that's what i'm trying to tell you it's like he in, um, he's in an environment he, he's not relaxed in this conversation you know what i'm saying like like he's nervous or yo this is not planned you know what i'm saying so it ain't come off as our j that i know that's flow with that shit like oh nah my man Oh, I come from where I come from. It's really, yo, boom, boom, boom. None of that shit came off like that because he has to make it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't, and then I gotta- you Call him off guard. It. I can't, and let me tell you, it, and it's so deep, right? That they gotta actually study to stay away from my name. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, he can't say it. So it's it's gotta be like, yeah, my man, he gotta, you gotta, you know, I can't, they gotta make sure, like that shit is hard for him to tell a story. Right. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like you gotta dodge this name in your, in these golden years of when you was hustling. Nah, it's hard, bro. So yeah. a nigga gotta make it up and it's gonna come off like, oh man, that shit don't even sound authentic. Like he, did, he, he was does up. that with name name too. Like when it comes to building the business, he'll say uh -huh. we. 
or, or stuff. He'll never mention Dame name, and it looked like he built this whole shit by himself. Man, you know. It is what it is, man. When that shit is, oh, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, hold on. How do you li listen to this? How do you hang with Emory every day? Y'all was together every day, and the feds knock him, and they didn't see you. And you hear him with the work. How you with him every day, every day, and the feds grab him, and they don't grab you, bro. And y'all partners, come on, bro. Are we fucking stupid out here? <laughs> Joke, you, they are stupid out here. Joke, why you keep? You don't want to believe that they are, yo. Yo, yo these niggas is on some some real nut eating shit, bro. There's no way a nigga say I was with this nigga every day, and the feds come and grab him. He do thirteen years. And your ass ain't in the paperwork, nowhere, a phone call, a wiretap, nothing. And you say you were selling drugs with this nigga, and y'all was together every day. And you go and jump on the plane and go to London to record for two months, which is a bald-faced lie. When the sting, he said when the sting operation hit, he was over in London. That nigga's lying, bro. <laughs> When you was in London with Jazz, that was 88. When you did Emory get knocked? For this fair case, that's 98, bro. That's Thank you, you, bro. And this interview with Juan Buffett in them um, is like 2016 or some shit. So he said yeah. he just came home. How he just came home in the 2000s, and you saying in 88. You went with Jazz O to record for two two months, and that's with the sting operation that you ducked. So you don't think the feds would have been waiting? It would have been easier for them to catch you coming back from London, nigga. You would have had a good time as soon as you came in the country. They would have grabbed you right there at the airport, brother. Hey, listen, choke. At this point, right, I already... See how powerful they are, bro. I don't want to hear you. Don't listen to me, right? I'm, uh, I'm good. You good? <laughs> they get it. <laughs> listen to me, right? I'm a believer of the team they play, the team they on over there, bro. Like they really, like I don't care to be. It is what it is. You see what it is with the black and white, bro. These motherfuckers ain't gonna see that. But I don't want to. Um... Yeah, all right. We we gonna leave them alone then. Okay. I yeah, get it. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <Don't>, man. <laughs> I, we ain't doing shit to no be worried. But. A, anyway, Marcy May gonna tell it all anyway, the series, man, so you can see it unfold, bro. But anyway, man, Choke, you do, when you come, yo, bro, you, you, we opened this so many times, so much, so much, and you know, we know what it is, man. Like I said, them niggas is hating still. They, they tell you that billionaires don't hate. They ain't gonna hate on us. <laughs> who, who are we? They ain't gonna hate y'all. They ain't thinking about yeah, y'all. Yo, them niggas ain't paying attention to y'all. Them, them niggas, them niggas way up here. They ain't watching y'all. Yeah, right. Yeah, Jay ain't watching bro. right now. What up, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, but uh, peace and blessings, bro. Uh, on the next one. <laughs> uh, I'll hit you later, bro. We'll holler at you. All right. I'll call you when I get off because I ain't done. Right, what's up? All right. <laughs> all right, one. See how they got niggas scared? Niggas don't even want to. Niggas see how powerful they are. We, we can't even talk. We can't even talk. And y'all stupid people out there, not y'all intelligent ones, y'all stupid ones, y'all just going to idolize because, oh, nigga got a billionaire, he a billionaire, he a billionaire. The fucking proof be right in y'all face. And y'all still be out here nut eating. Y'all still be out here nut eating. It, yo, it's disgusting. Gary F, good looking. Tyra, good looking.
Get down to lay down. Get down to lay down. Now, if you was watching the other day, if you're new here, please subscribe. That, that's my, my donation. If you can donate, hit the subscribe button. That 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 that's a the subscribe button's a dollar. It's free, but that's you giving me a dollar. Just hit that subscribe button. It's free, but that's your donation. If you got love and support, just hit that do, uh subscribe button. That's all I ask, please. The like too, if you don't mind. But subscribe. I got to uh surpass these whack niggas. <laughs> 